Okay, guys, welcome to our next class. Okay. Sorry about that. I'm eating uh, biscuits and <laughs> coffee. So anyway, bear with me. So simple layout. The agenda is four hours. If you can see it from the far uh, distance, it's like uh, we'll review the homework first. Then we'll uh, learn something new about the HTML and CSS. And then we'll go for a lunch break. And then we continue more about CSS things. Then we uh, work through the homework for the next week. And it's the end of the day. So let's review the homework. Let's talk about the homework. So how the homework did, uh, did go? Uh, anyone find any difficulties? Like I, I couldn't make it or any struggle? Sorry? Like it's how far this is kind of complicated. Uh, uh, how far this is complicated? The, the GitHub. GitHub. Yeah. GitHub part. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's true. Uh, I was only, only when you make folder. That's a little confusing. Okay. Otherwise, it's okay. Okay. I mean, I'm still struggling to understand exactly why, what is for. I, I know that it's like a control version yeah. thing. Yeah. Version For me, I, I don't know what it means. Okay. Yeah. So I'm. I. I. Uh, I told last time that I will probably uh, show the GitHub today about uh, basic things, GitHub, how can you upload the things and what is GitHub means. Probably we, we can walk through. But I got surprised that many of you guys already managed to open a GitHub account and upload the file there, right? Thanks Google for that. Yeah. And who did you manage? Anyone? Oh, Anyone seen, that yeah. never managed to go, go to GitHub and, uh, and do anything or something? No, I, 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 it didn't. <laughs> so you just you just make a, a zip file and then share the homework, right? Or? Yeah, I just did that PDF thing. Just, uh, PDF, okay. Yeah, yeah, and then I may have, I may have shared it. I'm not entirely sure why I've done that. Oh, okay, no, no problem, no problem. And who didn't manage to do the homework? Like, and didn't submit? Did manage but didn't submit? I saw from most most of you guys. I can remember. I'm really confused about how to submit the homework. I just shared my username. Oh, you did share my What own. is actually submission of homework? Because many of them were like sharing GitHub pages. Yeah. So I, I did not share GitHub pages. But you didn't share anything? I, I created GitHub, like I, I had GitHub account and there I shared that uh, week one. Yeah. In that folder I have uh, HTML and CSS. That's it. I have not that. that yeah. I did not uh, even uh, share the screenshot on the slide. Okay. Nothing I have done. The idea, the idea is there's two options I mentioned last time. So one is like uh, you can uh, upload your stuff in GitHub or you can make a zip folder. I mean, uh, or any file. Then you can share on Slack. Or let know the mentor or your friends to review it. So that is the idea. So whatever you do, but you need to uh, inform in the channel that okay, please um, review my homework. At least mentor if you can't reach out to the, uh, your friends or something. What was very useful is what Big Nash did. What he was like the first in uploading uh, this uh, GitHub, GitHub pages. That is like for having the preview. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, for me, it was very difficult to, to find out how to do it. Mm -hmm. But it's also super useful because. Mm -hmm. there, of the class can just you know like watch the whole page. Okay. 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 So, sorry. Sorry. His, uh, so I will take a quick walk through today, about ten and fifteen minutes. But it will be good to go for the GitHub. I'll make sure. But who is proud of that homework you did very well? Like okay, I sort of did something good, excellent. I'm proud of that. I think everyone is proud, right? <laughs> to do some homework, but uh, you want to show to the rest of the world, okay? My homework, probably, I can explain. I can show what I did. Anyone? I reviewed most of the homework yeah. and I gave a lot of comments. Probably you did manage to, you know, uh, do the improvement, but I didn't follow up because I didn't get time. And I also received some uh, uh, notification that somebody submitting me yesterday some homework, but I didn't got time. Time. So, if you expect a review from from me, at least be, submit before Friday. Yeah. Um, uh, Saturday is the day I actually use for my family and uh, busy with things, right? I don't get that much time. Also, probably you. Too. Yeah, it's, it's in the so in the work day we have a lot of plenty of room to you know support. So do submit please before uh, Saturday night at least Saturday. Yes. I think like also like from my side we can also do some kind of follow up on previous yeah. homework after this class. Uh, it's also possible, but it's more useful of course it's, it's before the class, right? Yeah. So we. You know, so Thursday is okay. Thursday. Uh, 
uh, Thursday would be perfect. Yes. If you can manage. It. Yes, that's good. That's good. Yeah. Even uh, if you can do it in one or two days, then it's a good chance that you will get a review, and then you will have more tasks to improve and like you know, uh, improve your skill. If you do it in the last day, if you get some comments, then you will not have time to you know uh, learn new things. So it's the best opportunity to do submit early. You get review feedback quickly and then work on it. It's for your own improvement. Okay, so let's do the quick one. I before uh, we start, I told you to take a screenshot, right? So uh, who came late? Please open your uh, project uh, and uh, take a screenshot and share on the ch channel so I can see how the homework look like for you. From you. So I have to see everyone's homework together, right? Yeah. You shared many times in many channels. Mm -hmm. So, so this is our channel, class six. So sh start sharing. Only picture. Not don't write anything. Just a uh, week one and something you can say. Yeah, week one is best. Title. And it should be very quick, right? In five minutes, we are done, sort of. So all done? Yes. Wait, I can see the great work already. Yes. See how beautiful are they. Yes. So let's take quickly one by one. So Samara. So this is your homework, right? So <clears throat> did you write your own custom uh, structure or CSS, or you just copy paste from somewhere or something? No, you did. You didn't. Yeah, that's true. I saw your homework. Your CSS is pretty uh, clean. I mean, minimum minimum CSS, and then uh, I saw your class name. You read properly the class and title is for the struggle. That's very good. And did you try to improve on the homework? Like I said, don't use the you know f uh, position top left like this. You remove them. Uh, I, did, I didn't understand what's the like to fix the okay. alignment. Okay. Like, uh, I thought maybe it's just like organizing things okay. inside the code. Yeah. That's fine. So we'll we'll, be, we'll visit. I, I I know what sin syndromes are, uh, what uh, the common mistakes are. So I'll try to cover them also in the class. And Jisan, so this is your homework. I didn't manage to because you submit yesterday, right? <laughs> it was a bit late. Okay, so was it difficult for you? What is this? Is it an image or something? Uh, front, front, or what is it? I made myself. No, no, it's, it's, a, it, it's a logo. Okay, okay, great. Uh, it looked pretty good. Great. And also, uh, Muhammad, you also submitted the homework. I didn't manage to probably review that. Or I did? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, so, yeah, you're pretty close to the you know the reference 
project. Yeah, try to. Yeah. You may try to get the color code and combination and stuff. Very good. Yeah. So, was it difficult for you? Anything you find it? Yes. Your copy paste yeah. icon from internet. That's fair. That's fair. No problem. Good. Yeah. And also, uh, Anu. So you didn't manage to submit the homework, but you managed to finally share the screen. So. Yeah. Okay. I, I will share the screen on the comment uh, comment on later. Okay. No problem. Mm -hmm. So, was it okay for you, homework? So do you, you didn't manage to uh, see remove these things. Which one? The uh, space the here. Is, uh, the. Yeah, but uh, if you uh, see in your browser, so it has uh, some space between in this. Yeah, area. I I did that like knowingly I did that just to bring a container. I, I gave the first. Okay, it was an intention. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I did okay. Yes, but it was not ex exactly the you know the reference picture we shared. Anyway, good job. Uh, like this one, see here is no space, but I can see some space on top. Yeah, and uh, a son. Yeah. You right? Yeah. Okay. So, how's the homework? This is uh, is uh, some challenging on the link navigation. Yeah. Uh, Here? Not in on the top. On the oh, never never yes, yes. Yeah, because there are two ways. One is display, and one is uh, uh, this. Uh, you can say float. So I use display and. Uh, okay. So you use the uh, uh, ULLI or what the things? Yeah, I use order list, order list, but uh, there is another way I find out later that uh, you can have a class, navigation class, and then you can use display class, uh, like inline display, because we, we can convert them in a block, block yeah. level element. And okay, makes sense. So I can see a nice logo. So you, it's a logo you made, you created yourself? Yeah, it's, it's on online generator. Online generator, okay, yeah. okay. Great. great. Yeah, good. So you also know how to create the logos, that's yeah. good. So also this one, the round and shape. Yeah. It's a CSS or you just a picture? No, it's a CSS. CSS? Yeah. Very good. So we'll cover this one too in the class. I, I, yeah. I'm impressed to see that. You already know this one. Yeah. Uh, Shimon, so how's the homework? Yeah, I try to do putting <laughs> so, Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> so, anything you find challenging there? No. Sorry, but maybe the structure, um, CSS and uh, HTML, how we can arrange that one. Yeah. Just, uh, that's the problem. Yeah, how should be the proper structure? Yeah, <clears throat> I can see you didn't use uh, proper styling. Like a lot of uh, colors are not, you know. You didn't try to improve the, this thing, right? Oh. Yeah. Did you? Like uh, you didn't try to improve the colors and font and like this C button with the red and <coughs> black, not readable. Uh, yeah, but uh, when I click, I use the hover. So when I click, then the color will change. Okay, but in the beginning, it doesn't look like, uh, you know, something. But anyway, so I also already give some comments to some of the students that, okay, so uh, designing is like sort of a natural science. It's an art. So you should imagine that how beautiful it is. Uh, do you like it? So it's all about uh, your personal satisfaction. If you like it, then you want to show that uh, pe people and that if they like it. So that's all about you know, this is yeah art. Always try to improve on that. And next stop, uh, Sajid. Yes, look good. You also used who is Sajid here? Yeah, you also try to use some shadow, right? Yeah. Okay. Just to try it? No, no, no piece. Yeah. I, I don't know. Some of the students copied a lot of uh, CSS code. It looked like a bunch of uh, things. Is it also your case, or did you copy CSS things from some? No, no I just. You, you, not you. No, I, tried, I tried to look at the, the information that applied. Okay. And also this, bar uh, this button? Can you talk about it? I can see a small, uh, you know? That's just a straight link. That's just a picture. And a picture oh, it's, it's a picture? It's a picture, yeah. Oh, I thought it's like a text with the icon. No, 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 no. It's in W3 school. Okay. No, no. Is it a uh, one button, one element, or also the... It's just one icon. element. Okay. Yeah, so okay. it's just basically a picture. That's yeah. for your, your yeah. element. Yeah, nice placement of the logo and the, you know, menu. That's good. And Marco is here. Are you? Yes. How is the homework? Yeah. 
<laughs> I can see you just, you know, design it totally different. Yeah, I you know, I have started doing it like uh, some days before, so, yeah. So you did your own design or yeah. how did you come up with this? I actually had a, uh, an old CV that I was using. Oh, you have an own, own yeah. CV, then you just try to replicate that in HTML? Precisely, yeah. From PDF to something? Okay. Good, good, good. And how did you maintain this alignment here? So, like, uh, you speak Danish also? No. But everything in Danish, how come? Uh, born. So, you 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 uh, you born in somewhere and then civil status thinker and then all the status. So, I can see it's a pretty good alignment. So, this text and this row. So, how did you manage that? Uh, I slowed up for absolute precision. So, it took me like a lot of time. Oh, okay. But you use positions a lot. Of, a lot. Yeah, yeah. What I learned the most in work is that it can take you really long time to do stuff like that. So you didn't find anything good that uh, without using the position thing? Uh, no, no, no. I mean, it's very, it's very useful. No, no. Without using positions, so there are a lot of elements can help you to, you know, ha have the structure. Yeah, sure. I used to agree that at some point uh, in the further, uh, yeah, I don't remember exactly what I did. Yeah. I also gave you some comments that don't use the you know, position the top left yeah, these yeah, things. Yeah. It's not good, uh, good, uh, good way of doing it. Probably table or some other uh, HTML structure can help you in this sense. Sure. Yeah. And also probably a little bit of uh, design thinking. It's like, do you think you can share with, the, with your friends and uh, other people? Yeah, sure. I mean, I don't think I'm, you know, I can give much advice. But... Yeah, probably a little bit more improvement on the design thoughts. Okay, um, Vinesh, so you didn't manage to keep them into center, right? Yeah, I couldn't, I tried, it was going so bad. I have this problem in Portugal. <laughs> uh, I think it's good. I think it's a very good example that you, it shows that you didn't manage to do and then you you try to find the way. So did you try to ask the question to this channel, something that how can I make it center aligned or something? Yeah, I asked Krishna, he also sent me a report. I tried it, but it's like uh, again it goes out. Sometimes you ask uh, also in the channel to the class, then all will you know see. Okay, this is the thing that I, I know I can help you. So they will explaining. So you can also then you know learn that way. Okay. Yes. Good. Good. Mm. And yes, uh, Muhammad. Yeah. yeah. I can see you. You can ma you manage to put them in the, in, in the middle. Yeah. And why this Facebook is here is too big. You want to highlight the Facebook or? No. <laughs> it's copy paste. Copy paste. Okay. So how come this come here, like not uh, bottom? It it it's, it was an intention or you didn't manage to take it uh, put it here. So you didn't manage to put this uh, yeah. icon here, or a, or it was an intention that you want to show yeah. in the left, right? I managed to put it here because when I'm doing it, if I want it to on the left side, it's kept out <laughs> when you zoom this window. Okay, so there are some issues that you couldn't fix that, right? I couldn't. Okay, but I like your, you know, this uh, neighbor is good. Yeah. Yes, Raman. I, I remember I particularly told you to improve on CSS. I, I don't know, I have the, the previous homework you submitted, it was very, very, you know. Not like that. Yeah, something you use, some color. Yeah, <laughs> some I, weird color. I use this color. Okay, so uh, still I can see. Do you like this color? Things? No, no, I, I just, uh, I mean, try to expand and uh, implement the color. Yes, but I don't know. Okay. Fixed it for so, the so why this look like this? It look like a, uh, in the top, not in the middle, also underline. So it was the, your intention or you, no, you didn't manage to remove I, the... I didn't, I didn't manage it. You didn't manage it. That's the thing. That's I don't know. And why it's like here only? Why it not uh, you know, expanded into the whole uh, area, this, this top menu? Actually, I follow the main template of example one. So I tried to put it in but in example one, it was like whole whole area. Whole area. Yeah, yeah. Everyone, you see, they all did the same. Okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Orange with pink, good combination. <laughs> I just last night, uh, and you told me the 
make some color changes, and that's why I try it. Don't work on the last night. <laughs> <laughs> oh, who is that? You? Yes. Come on. You like have a pretty. <laughs> you sort of you know put a lot of effort to design this thing. So can you explain some of the things here? I can see you have a background image. How did you manage to do that? Yeah. So you just try to uh, try to do use some background image or something, yeah. right? Is it is a background image or something else? Yeah, it's okay, a background image. Background. Okay, and then uh, and this this area. Why is it look a bit dark? I guess it's a different color. Mm -hmm. The transparency looks amazing. Yeah, yeah. yeah transparency. Yeah, that's it. You you it's some transparency thing there. Yeah. So so you're catching up with the properties CSS. Right, yeah. Very good. So, did you know the properties before, or you just explore and find something interesting? I, I then you don't. Know. Okay. Mm. So, where the menus are? Like links here? Like about experience, something? We have a top menu, right? The menu bar, like this one. About oh. me, skills. Yeah. You, you, you didn't manage to do that, or? No. Or, or this, yeah, no. Yeah. So it's a good attempt that you try to use some CSS uh, background and some color stuff. Okay, that's good. Anyone left uh, submitting the homework? Oh, you didn't talk? No, I can see all of the face. Yeah, that's very good job. Well done, guys. So <clears throat> that was a review. So yeah, so we managed to do in uh, 20 minutes. That's good. So now we we should go to learn something new today. Semantic HTML and media query, the next topic is. But before I want to do that, I am thinking now. So probably it's a good idea. You, you, many of the guys has a problem with the you know position, um, alignment, a lot of things. We, it's not totally clear. So probably it's nice that I do the homework now, live. So you see how I do it and what is the approach, what, 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 how you should think. So th probably this will help you to you know, do, do more, uh, you know, better way. What do you think? Yes. Okay, that's it. Okay. So I saw someone was writing a folder name with a space. Who was that? You. So never write a folder name with a space. Then you, there's a lot of issues uh, that you cannot reference uh, you know, resources. Because uh, I will show you what happened. So what I need to do the homework, guys. You should help me. So I, I'll do, we'll do it together. Okay. So you should tell me what the next steps is. Before I uh, do it, you should suggest me. So you guide me to do the homework. Okay. So it's a teamwork again. Uh, I don't know why I'm saving the file. Okay. I start coming here. Good. So I need a HTML file, right? Mm -hmm. Something. And I saw some of the some of the students was naming the file with a lot of different, you know, homework, uh, X Y Z or something. Some other you did a lot of yeah, numbers and things. What is the meaning behind that? It is a shortcut. Like Sorry. Quick. 
Okay, okay. Oh, fast, fast is, means one. Yeah. Wake means W. <laughs> Work means H. Like that. Uh, pretty uh, weird name. <laughs> I must say that. Okay, so always keep the uh, file name index uh, at the home page. Mm -hmm. the, the default page like uh, the so that whenever you host your uh, uh, you know code in the server so it always try to read the index.html page so it's default but you can always reference something else but it's always good that you name it index.html html so it has pretty good meaning and it's known by worldwide known people knows what it means what it means always try to do that so what i need first yeah, something, right? So I don't want to do, you know, there's that many boring coding here. Uh, let me, you know. So let's say HTML, <coughs> HTML structure. So see here, I can copy paste, right? Also probably some of the things here, HTML structure. No. Anyway, so I'm pretty, you know, lazy, you know, lazier than you guys. So copy, paste. So I have everything here, right? Okay. So what should I name it? Title. Homework. Homework. Uh, week one. Okay. Or, or better say. Page. Yes, and if I open the reference, this is the homework, right? Mm -hmm. I should make a replica of this thing, right? Okay. So what I need first here, what you can see, so I have a page. Uh, probably I can uh, write something, and then let's see. Uh, open this one. So it's coming. So I can see this thing at least, right? Some I wrote something there, right? Uh, top bar. Top bar. Top bar. Mm. So I I can see here. Oh, sorry. So from here I need a logo, right? I say logo. So I need some logo, right? So I'm doing first HTML. So what did the HTML means? Why we should write HTML code? So if you imagine you say you are a human, right? Imagine you are a human. What do you have? You have a skeleton, right? Some bones that give you the structure, and you have a nice screen, uh, face, a lot of things, cosmetic thing. There's a CSS. So the bone inside is a is HTML, and then the outside is a CSS. So all cosmetic things. So we'll do the structure first. Don't look at the colors, uh, top, left, whatever. Just think about the element. What the things I need to show. So I need a logo here. I need some links here. I need a picture, I need a button, I need a title, I need some, uh, you know, subtext or description and then some bio data or stuff, right? And two uh, links. That's pretty simple. That's it. So let's quickly create them. And then we, when the skeleton is ready, we try to do the cosmetic stuff, right? So first I need an image to have a logo, right? Logo is not a text. It's a, the, I said to replace this one with an image, right? Let's get the image. So who can help with the image tag? How, how can I do uh, uh, the image? Insert. Sorry? Logo, right? So I need something here. So let's say I said uh, uh, logo. Logo.jpg, right? So, okay, I did something. And I refresh the page. It's not showing it. It's, not, it's saying it, it can't find this one. Why is that? So I, I just... I just tried to re locate a resource, but I couldn't find, this can't find, because only says uh, uh, logo.dis and it should uh, find in the, you know, uh, this uh, place, this directory or folder. Somebody had asked a question in the channel, what is directory means? So directory is like, a, you know, if you Windows machine or Mac, so this is the folder in Mac, uh, Windows, and in programming model world, people used to say directory, not a, you know, a folder. So this is a place where it contains all the files. So there is no image here, that's why it can't find, right? And an image, if you go, image has some properties, HTML properties. What is this? One is 
SRC where you can link and the other one more important property it has and alt tag so alt tag is what is alt tag means yes uh, why, why it's needed Even with impaired eyesight, or that especially. It's also yeah, that's good good answer. People have who have some uh, you know handicap like who can't uh, uh, read properly or see properly or something, or even broken, even for the human normal human, it, it says it's broken. I don't know what the image I want to show the world, right? So if I put the alt text like uh, site logo and then I refresh and it says site logo, isn't it good? Like at least it it will say okay, I try to find some image, but it's a site logo. So you can so it's a logo something also whatever. The yeah, so it is helpful. So always try to use this, and it is highly recommended. Never skip the alt tag. Most of the students didn't do that. No homework, okay? Great. So I need a site logo at least, right? So and then let's fix the fix the logo a bit later. And then what I need here? Three links. And how can I create links quickly? Quick. You did the homework. Um, I need definitely, definitely. I need uh, you know uh, um, H uh, A tag, right? A tag with something, and then um, uh, what is this about? Uh, about about uh, what is next? Skills. And then next, education. education. Oh, sorry. Right, it's not here. Education, right? So it's here, right? It's looking weird because I, I zoomed in the uh, place, that's why. Anyway. Okay, so my intention is to show the link not here, it should be right side, right? Mm -hmm. So how can I move them to right side? The link. You want to do that with CSS? I can move everything uh, uh, writing some custom HTML and then uh, position whatever or not. So it's always easy uh, to you know group them. Like either I should group them with a deep div or uh, and then put it here put it here inside or there's a, a recommended way people are saying here a lot so i also like to use that li ul li so it's a ul list unordered list something like that right um li and isn't it better to also use the header tag at the font um what what header tag? Come again. You want to group them in a header. <coughs> okay, okay, I got you. I got you. Yes. Uh, yeah, very good, uh, Marco. So, it's 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 in our you know topic today. We'll discuss this. I do a bit sharp here. Uh, me. Yes. Yes. Please do that. You want to get a sunlight or a uh, ear? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what happened to this? Why is not ordering this? Thing? Did they miss any any styling? Yeah. Okay. So I have it now, right? So let's fix this the logo quickly. You know, I have a logo already somewhere.
So I said it uh, HYF. Okay, so here, right? Okay. Oh, I don't know. I will make it or not today. <laughs> this is too much homework. Where is the picture? Yeah. Right. Okay. So let's at least make this one first. Uh, some color, right? I need to do like, some color. So what I need first? So something I need to group them into one uh, one thing. So it look like see the structure. So uh, it look like a, you know. Uh, let's do the color later. I do the structure first. So I need an image. I need uh, I need see here. I need an image and I have a uh, some information. So if you look at here, what you what you can see? There's two column. Mm -hmm. One column is this uh, picture and the button, and then another column is a lot of information here, right? Uh -huh. So what if I create them into two columns? So how can I create the columns? Yeah, last time, uh, so gonna, uh, it teaches us like div is like an element. It's like a, a placeholder. It's, it has an always create a new row, right? And span is like a create a column, right? But it's, span is not a good idea. But she also teach some 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 other things. We can do that. Hold the structure. Table. We can use table for it, right? Mm -hmm. So table, one row, two column. That's it, right? Can I do that with table? Okay. Two table, right? Two TD. So in the first one, what I need? So you can see I have two two information here, right? So I need to replace this one with the image. This one is a lot of things. So what is the what is the image? So I can quickly go here and paste here. And I need an image for myself. Um, let's copy. I think I copy all the resources from here. All the images I have. So see, it came here, right? Mm -hmm. So I need, uh, and then what I need here in the right, right column, I need a uh, some title, some sort of like big text. So what the big text element, HTML oh. element? Oh, fine. So uh, sorry. So uh, you see the header, header, uh, headline element, right? Header H1, H2, H3. You are all familiar with that one. So probably we can call it H1, right? Let's call it, I, probably it's H2, I don't know, but let's call it H1. And what it says, hi, I am. And then what it has in the below, some text, right? So we can call it uh, H3, probably, small text, H3. Or we can call it P also, paragraph. You know P also, right? And then what else? It has some more text, right? So we can call it P. And then I can quickly copy something from Lorem Ipsum to get more text. Sorry? PR. I need some, you know, more text to fill fill the gap. Actually, about that, I found on a video a very good feature about 
how to put lower and mid zone directly on Visual Studio. Really? really That's good. So you, yeah, you probably can show me that also. I don't know. I always find a struggle to, you know, Just do that. Write lower and the amount of characters you want to put. Yeah. Okay, so let's save the file and see this. Okay, thanks, uh, Marco. We'll check it out definitely. So you can see uh, if I zoom it out a bit. So you can see a lot of text here, right? So help me. Always help me with the text. So what can I do here? So, I, so I create a paragraph for here, and then what? What does this look like? How can I create the structure for this one? Again, table, right? Definitely, we can create again table. So, so table. Uh, outside of this uh, or inside of this area. So we, we decided to create, this is a uh, TD, a column, this is a TD in column, right? So the, in this TD, I need to create another table, right? So yeah, that's... Inside table? Yeah. Inside TD. So I can say here, to see the structure. So you are not sure what a, what uh, what the structure look like, right? The table. So I can do here, B O R D E R border equal one. Probably yes. So see the structure look like it has a column, two column, right? Mm. And then uh, now I'm creating a table again. Uh, table. Uh, what I need? How many columns? Two. Again, the similar way, or or whatever. I can say it, this is a row. First row, second row, th third row, fourth row, fifth row, something like that. How many rows are here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven row, two column. How about that? So it will be in proper structure, right? So I need a seven row, right? And two uh, column, right? So like that. Um, quickly, uh, if you guys can remember from your screen, so tell me uh, what the uh, you know, rows information are. Some first is age, then my age is uh, 25, my daughter says always. Father, you are 25 years old. <laughs> I wish I'm 25. <laughs> and then second is nationality. Nationality and then, uh, I don't know, world, universe. Sorry? Uh, don't uh, take a uh, see about the text uh, spelling or something. What? Address. Address. Address uh, I'm putting too much text to see how this is look like. And phone. Phone. Skype. Sorry. Uh, okay. Phone number. You need my phone number, right? This is my phone number. Call me. Skype. Skype is this. And then next, email. Email is. Uh, Gmail and then website. website something with www something okay and then let's see how it look like see it's it's look okay right so again we can do the same trick to see the structure how this look like and we will remove this one later so the property HTML is like border equal one so it will uh, it will show the structure. See here, good right? And then uh, I did refresh, right? If I refresh, then it <laughs> okay. So what I need here more uh, two two I uh, icon. What you call it icon or image? Icon. Icon. Okay. So how can I get the icon? Okay, so it should be uh, it should be in the in the same structure here. I need a one more row, or I should uh, put this out of the table. 
out of the table right because we decided we need a seven rows so it should be out of the table so let's put two icon here or something so image for instance src because you did copy paste from the image from the internet right Mahmoud? so i can say uh, what is this one uh, github and then uh, alt tag right if the image is not there probably i haven't downloaded the image so let's copy give it some alt tag here and then uh, src oh too much stuff and then uh, linkedin alt linkedin right oh these are coming down why is it coming there oh because i put inside the table that's not good so it's coming down right here at least yeah at least give some width so it should look bigger or 200 no? No? okay forget about it and what i miss what i'm missing here i miss i'm missing this one right then our structure will be probably ready so i'm missing that and where can i put this one this this button so I need to scroll down, see where it is, where it is, where it is. Uh, first row, right? First column, right? So I have a column here, and then what I need? Button. Yeah, button element. Yes. Uh, I think it's good if you can use the button elements. Uh, what the button is? Download. Download uh, resume, like that. Right? Yeah, it doesn't uh, look that pretty fancy button anyway. So you can see from there, right? The button is here, right? Okay, great. So yeah. So one thing, did you notice that it is growing, growing? So we find some hard time to you know find where it is should I put the button, right? So how can I avoid this thing? Like how can I navigate quickly to the code? Any idea? Last time I had a slide to add uh, to talk about the comments. So we can write some uh, information here, which shouldn't show in the website, but it can it will show in the uh, code. So that's called comments. So there are two. Uh, you can always make a comments in the code in HTML, CSS, uh, any programming language. You can make comments. So for HTML uh, comments, it's like if I'm not wrong, Sitrana, you can help me uh, like this. So exclam exclamatory and lo you know a lot of dashes and uh, whatnot. So you can say that. So w I, so I can like start uh, you know tagging what are the things are so it's i can say it's it's uh, like top top bar right yeah. top bar yes very good and then uh, so top bar is there and then this table here this table is like a paragraph uh, we can say here paragraph or uh, container yeah. container so container contains everything right mm -hmm. look like uh, and then the this td is like a uh, Moshe, you are saying something uh, column or something. Yeah. What do you call it? First table. Yeah, first. Give me a proper name. So I, I'm writing the documentation now, so I can quickly you know navigate to the code. Picture. Yeah. Uh, profile picture. Picture column, column, and the next one, please come up quickly, guys. Don't be silent. Uh, probably I can say a summary, summary column. Description means like a, you know description, but what do you think? Do you agree with the name? I can change otherwise. Okay. And then here I can see a lot of information here, right? So uh, what should I call it? Personal yeah. Personal data. Personal info. Good, 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 good name. And then uh, I have some here, right? Yeah, yeah, very good. So you are learning something by doing, okay? <laughs> uh, social links, good name. 
So you know how to also write the comments with the proper, you know, that you can, it's readable, that you can actually reference later. So now if I want to add something, so if I say, okay, let's add something, uh, see, I refresh, you can see, you can't see these things because it's all hidden in the, you know, background. So if I want to add something here um, in the bottom, so you can quickly go there, right? You can see where should I go and then, yeah, that's good. Okay, so our structure is pretty, pretty ready. So uh, it's not, you know, since I'm not in proper alignment, alignment means like it's not in proper uh, position. So we, we need to fix that. So how can I fix that? With the CSS, right? Yes. You're tired or need break? No? Is, is it fun or I should stop doing it? No, 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 no. Yeah, I can see if some of these are very busy with the computer doing your know, reading book or something. <laughs> Don't read book at home, uh, at in the class, okay? So how can I link some CSS? First thing first, I need a file, right? What the file name? X Y Z style uh, CSS or something? Give a proper name, right? I, I always fan of a style. You can say uh, anything. <laughs> Uh, index.css uh, our file is the index file it is a standard a standard name don't call the css an index it's not a good idea uh, it's, a, it's a commonly practice that you people call it style let's keep it style okay you, whenever you find a better name you can also suggest the community they will get help so so i'll write something right what should i write so did you notice uh, in the picture it has some you know this is the picture, right? From this yellow. Oh, you thought this is the whole thing and you want to keep this in the middle? <laughs> okay. This is the background. Okay, 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 okay. I got you now. Yeah, you have a pretty good perception then. So this is the image. So see here, this is a, some color is different, right? If you see, it's a gray, it's not white. This is white, right? So I need some color, that's right? So I can say body. So how can I get the body? So imagine this is a whole page, right? So uh, in HTML, if you go there, uh, everything in the body, it's everything in the you know visible. So I, if I put some color there, it will be okay, right? So let's. What I need to write the CSS, pretty simple rule. What the rules is to define a, a style. You need a selector. Selector could be anything, element, ID, class, what not. And then what you need again? Properties and value. That's it. And also some rules with the curly braces and the comma and whatnot, right? So I need a selector and the bracket and then what I need for background color. Background color and then okay, no. If this is the advantage of using ID, so you get all the suggestions you don't have to type. So what's the color is? Gray. Okay, last time uh, I talked about uh, the colors and also I showed the, you know, uh, uh, hex code, hex, hex or something, right? So from now on, from this class, you just know how to define a color. From now on, you never uh, write a color name like that, gray, white, blue, yellow. Always use a hex code because each browser has different interpretation of the gray or orange or different things. So you, it will not be same consistent in the different browser, different devices. I was uh, probably with the retina display, it will not the same like your PC is. But what about black for instance? Don't use that. So if you're using for everything for hash code, so why you want to use uh, black and white is a color code? <laughs> Doesn't make sense. Yeah, picture always is a picture, it's a link. No, no, don't use picture. I'll come back to that. Uh, using a background in picture is is a pretty uh, it's not a good idea. So then, a uh, picture has a huge bandwidth uh, size. It will not download. It, the page will take uh, two minutes to download, and you will not see the page, and people will go out of the page. So never use background image like that, like she did. But it was a pretty good uh, exercise. You tried. For some key cases, we need, but not uh, don't do that for the site. Okay. So what the color? Probably you can. Uh, I can say uh, nine nine nine. Okay, I refresh, it's not working. Why is that? Huh? You have to link. Who said that? Yes, you're right. There's no color. I didn't create the link. So I didn't link this CSS file. So how can I link the CSS file? You know, I always don't remember how to do this. Uh, probably you guys can help. Sorry? 
quote. Quote from there, yeah, that's good. You guys know, so tell me. Yeah, tell me, what is this? Link. Link? R E REL? Style? See, like this? No, no, no. All is Okay. And then? Type. Type. Text oblique CSS. Okay. Text oblique CSS. HREF? Yeah. yeah. Really? Yeah. Let's see if it's working. Oh, boom, it's working. Uh, probably this is not a good color. It doesn't look like uh, the similar one, this one, right? It's too dark. dark. Probably I need to fix it, uh, fix it. So, how can I fix the color? Any idea? Color picker. color picker. I told you last time, like color picker. Good. You remember it. So now probably you can say, okay, uh, hex co uh, color something. Okay. So it says HTML color codes. Open this one. See this one. It's nice animation here, right? So probably if I go, probably this is probably similar. I don't know. Click this one. It says F something, right? I copy hexacode here. If you click, if you click on the color, it give it change. See, it changed this uh, pattern and what uh, what you can get. So I click here. Probably I click again here. I get this color. Copy. Go back to my editor. Replace with this color code, and see if it's working. Is it pretty similar or? Yeah. Don't like it. Okay, let's skip it. I don't no, do that much. Okay. That's good. So, and then what I need here, then next, I need this one, right? How can I achieve that? So, it has two elements, at least uh, this Im image and this list of things, right? So, it's always good to bundle them together, right? And Marco, you were saying something about the why not header tag or something. Let's do that later on. Uh, we'll talk about the header or HTML5 elements in the later on section. But at least, <laughs> the thing we learned from Cplanner last time, the div element, right? It's pretty good for this purpose. So let's group them into div. And then, uh, how can I use uh, color here? I need some... I, I cannot say div, right? Div is not a unique thing. No, so it's not should. once... Uh, you can always use selector, like, uh, if you say div, it will do that, but it will do for each, uh, every div. Right? I don't want uh, all div should have the color. So I can define as some class or color, uh, something, right? So class, ID or something, what not. Uh, what the class could be? Yeah. Hmm? Yeah. Never, okay, good, good, never. And how should I write the uh, class name? Like this, never, it's not readable. Uh, or readable, or you can do like dash or this way. Never a space. If it's a space, then two color. It means two two classes. Okay. Okay. We'll just call it neighbor. So class neighbor, and then what I need? Again, background color, right? Uh, background. Oh, so you, you uh, background. If you write this way, background, and also only just define color, then it will work. You don't have to write background color. So what the color I need here? Yellow. Something, right? So Let's find from the website here. Can you navigate quickly? Is there anything? This one? This yeah. one? Yeah, yeah. This one? Yeah, that one. Okay. I don't know if it's the one or not. Let's try this one. Okay, it's not working. Okay. See, it's a dot here. Can we have break? Five minutes? Uh, yeah, we'll have. One second. So it's, a, it's a, if you see like that, always remind me. I didn't save the file, so that's why it's not getting the you know, color. Oh, it has only color here. Okay, five minutes quick break, very quick. Um.